Now, Isle Expo is just over a week away, and with the theme of this year's event focused on exploring the Isle of Man as a unique business location, it's really interesting to get a perspective from companies that have actually relocated over here. Alistair Demick is Sales and Marketing Director of Cortec Healthcare, which moved over here last year. Um, so, Alistair, first of all, I mean, the, the question has to be, why did they feel that they wanted to move to the Isle of Man? Well, we were very fortunate we were going well in the UK um, as a startup. We were developing our movement system, which we use in independent living products to help people move um, in the way they're meant to, to be able to increase their dignity, their independence, and, and to help carers, like we were talking about with occupational therapy, the people who care for them to, to be able to help them reduce the physical impact. Um, like with anything, it's all about funding. And being able to bring products into the market is an expensive thing. And through Spark Impact, we were able to learn about the EDS funding from um, on, on the island. So we went through talks with them. We um, came to the island, met with members of the DFE, and um, and really didn't look back. So for us, it initially started with the funding. But the support that we've had coming here has been fantastic. Um the groups of people here that support us, the DFE, the Manx Biomed, the Department for Health and Social Care. Um, it's just been fantastic for us to grow our business into a fully operational business now and moving into the market. And had you actually been looking at other places then? or Yeah, um, we'd looked at Wales, um, the place, not the animal. The, we'd looked into just various parts of England. And again, because we, we were all over the UK anyway as a group of people, so it's very flexible in terms of where we could be. Um, and for me, I grew up in Northern Ireland, and that kind of that com- community of business is something I was always used to. And coming to the island here, it's even more concentrated. So the Manx Biomed, as an example, to be able to have everyone involved in our industry in one room, the, the meetings we have is fantastic. The DFE, I, you know, I can't speak highly enough about in terms of the help and support they've provided, introducing us to potential companies we can work with, just helping us with, with grants and how we should apply for things and where we should look to manufacture. Um, to the point now that we're in the, the Balthian Industrial Estate and we, we do all of our own manufacturing there. We don't import from China or Europe. You know, We, we, we are making here and we are. We also, um, like PSS, we're on a recruitment drive. We're looking for more engineers, software engineers, electrical engineers, general people for production and assembly. So, yeah, it's all growing and and great. And in terms of the actual process of moving, I know it's said for anybody moving, it is one of the most stressful things you can do. How was that transition period for you? Um, Yeah, yes, yes, (laughs) very stressful. But again, it's... we, we were fortunate in terms of how our team operated that we, we all kind of were, worked remotely as well as um, in, in a unit. So we were able to do everything in in stages. Gary Seal, our operations director, played a, a, a fantastic role in terms of managing all of that. Um, so we were able to continue the development of the products that we were doing without that being hindered by the, the movement over here. Um, but now it's great to be over here and have the base and, and working working flat out now. And what about um, the aspects outside of business then? Because obviously you have a family yourself. Um, I do. Uh, we, you will be relocating here yourself. Are you living here now? Or? I'm not at the moment. I'm spending because of the sales and marketing role I'll be doing. I will be managing the um, the um, companies who will take our our products to market in the UK, in Europe, in Middle East, and Australia. So I'm spending a lot of my time travelling off there. Um, I, I, I have a I have a very young family, and they love me going away because <laughs> I have to bring something back basically so no it's um and it, it, we, we were t- talking about this at the weekend about bringing my family over to have some time over here because it's such a great place to come and, and especially for the kids uh, there is so much to do as well um, one of the things that struck me in the information that you, you sent us Alistair was that you said it's always um really resonated with you that whatever you bring to market is going to make a real difference to someone's life now that must be a lot of pressure but also a huge sense of yeah. fulfillment as well yeah i, I, I started um in healthcare 15 16 17 years ago um i started in stoma care so colostomy ileostomy um appliances so bags and accessory products i grew up my um my mum um was uh, the head of the ileostomy association so looking after people who have who have these um requirements so working in that industry, I knew what you made, the importance it was. You weren't selling books or CDs. What you do makes a difference in the same way that Keith and Don were saying, what you're doing, it's so important because it is affecting someone and how they are. And in healthcare, it's so important 
the people who we look at these products for, these independent living products, the movement system is able to help people with limited dexterity, limited movement. That might be age, it might be injury, might be disease, might be, I don't know. But what we're able to do is to try and give them a bit more independence, give them a bit more dignity. Um, and it is very important, and it is pressure, but on a Sunday night, when you're thinking, oh, I've got work tomorrow, it's nice to know what you're doing. And that's the whole, I speak on behalf of the whole team, you know that you're doing something that's going to make a difference for people and actually, you know, enhance their lives. And I suppose, you know, this is a perfect example, the fact that you, two separate groups of people are on mm. the show today. It was just happenstance, it just happened to work out this way. But are you finding that that is something about the Isle of Man as well, yeah. that you've got that sort of connection to people quite easily? Yeah, it's, it, it's fantastic for us. And I think uh, when I was at, uh, it was the Mike's Biomed AGM last year, and the, the fuel um, group stood up and they were saying about the Isle of Man is the 11th oldest population in the world. And when you have a population of ageing people, there, there's a requirement of products like we have and the, 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 the services that PSS have and, and, and in terms of what Don does as, a, as an occupational therapist. It's just an increasing thing. We're living longer. We're living longer f- um, into 100 and 15, 120 years old, but we're not going to be running the London Marathon those last 10 years. You're still going to have good quality of life, but our products will be able to help you and our service will be able to help you to enhance that life. So on the island, it's great because we keep bumping into people where we think, oh, this could be useful, a nice link, and and um, and hopefully we can all work for everyone. Ooh. Um, looking ahead to next week then, as we mentioned, mm-hmm. Isle Expo, the whole theme is about um, location and you're going to be speaking on a panel um, yeah. addressing that sort of issue. So if you um, were talking to, to a business that was perhaps considering relocating, what what are the main things that they are going to be looking for, would you say? It's time. I think everything will take longer than you think. And it's not in a bad way, it's just you need to make sure it's planned properly. Um, I would say coming to the island, the DFE support has been fantastic and they're great to be able to point you in the direction of where you need to be. When you're coming to any area, you don't know the place. So Balthane for us is fantastic, but we'd looked at other areas on the island to set up. That's what worked for us. But I would say take time, come over and spend time meeting with the right people, looking at the right, and just going about and seeing how your business would work over here. There's so many options on how to do it, and there is so much help and support there, but just don't rush, just don't rush. Uh, Alistair, lovely to have you with us this Thank afternoon. You. Um, you did mention uh, that Cortec Healthcare is uh, recruiting. If yes. anybody's listening, yes. what sort of people are you looking for? Um, as Keith was saying, attitude is great, but also a lot of skills, please. <laughs> um, so we are looking for um, very specific technical skills for technical engineers we're looking for software engineers and we're looking for a general production side um, and if people wanted to get in touch that would be great if they want to send information uh, or request for information or ask any questions or send their CVs over to info at cortec-healthcare.com Wonderful and once again we'll put all those details on the Women's Day blog after the programme